But I think a lot of you guys are like me in that did a... Dealing with your drunk friends as an adult help you in dealing with infants at all? Did you guys <laughs> go through that? Like, I don't know if I, yeah, right? I, I don't know if I, I need to have kids because I have uh, drunk friends from Chicago <laughs> that do comedy that I have to care for sometimes. <laughs> well and well, deeply into adulthood. <laughs> like, I, 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 for my 40th birthday, 40th, not 21st, 40th birthday. Rented a house, rented a house in Palm Springs with a bunch of friends. And a uh, big thing about Palm Springs is you can't have any outside noise ever or any shenanigans. You can't run around naked, can't blare music outside. It's a mostly older community, stylish old folks, but they like they're quiet, you know? And the guy who showed us the house, we had a pool outside. He was like, don't play any music outside. I was like, really? He's like, no, they don't allow it they will kick you out of the house. You know, the owners of the Airbnb. And I was like, whoa. He's like, I just have to ask, just don't go crazy outside. I'm like, hey man, it's my 40th birthday. Like, how crazy we're gonna go? I mean, and he's like, good point, good point, sir. And he left seven minutes. Seven minutes later, he calls me. I counted. I looked at the clock. I'm like, something's going to happen. I know. I get a phone call, just frantic. Mr. Bronger, we have reports. There's a man on your roof in his underwear from your party right now. Seven minutes. I'm just like, fuck. Kyle! Like, I knew exactly who it was. <laughs> Fucking Kinane up there in his underwear and flip-flops just standing around. And I get him down. And he's like, I found a ladder. Like, that's not an excuse. <laughs> what are you, nine? Get in the house. No more beer for you. My friend Monty got kicked out of his own wedding. That is a scumbag achievement right there. <laughs> His wedding reception, and Monty doesn't even drink. He's one of those guys who just smokes weed all the time, to the point where he's a magician. You know, I think anything you practice enough, you get a mastery of. And he's that guy that can like draw in on a joint, blow it out down his shirt, goes down his pant leg into your clothes and you get arrested. Like he's that guy, <laughs> like at a movie theater. What? I got nothing on me. I was never here. But he needs to smoke because he's always angry. So Monty was at the reception and got kicked out. And a word of advice, learn from him. If you marry a nice lady and her aunt comes up to the reception and is like, Monty, that girl you married, okay, is my heart, all right? <laughs> If you hurt her, hmm, okay, I will find you and I will kill you, okay? She says that to you. Uh, what you say is, don't worry, I'll never, never hurt her. She, she's my heart too now. I, I, she's my world. You won't have to come kill me. Let's have some wine. That's what you say. What you don't say is what Monty literally said to this woman, which was, are you fucking threatening me at my own fucking wedding? Like, it's an old lady, Monty. Jesus. <laughs>